looking at, fag? What? You can't take your eyes off. Yeah, as if, buddy. Come on, guys, let's play. Okay, Jimmy, how about your team skins now? Yeah. Uh, so I get it. You just want to see me take my shirt off. Is that it? No. No. There. Who's the man now? Hey, just do that while we're actually playing. All right, girls, we're having a game or not. <laughs> You're sure I look okay? So why did you care about what people think anyway? I don't really. Just certain people. Well, I think you look great. It's uh, hipper than hip. Well, hey, Jim. Yeah, wait up. Uh, I'll see you later. What, no kiss goodbye? I wish. He's a great friend, but... But you want more, right? Okay. Big day for you guys. Dr. Sally is back. Who's Dr. Sally? Sex health educator. Very frank, very informed. Mr. S, um, I'm all for the sex doc, of course. But didn't we do this last year? You did, but there's always more to learn about. <laughs> Healthy sexual relations, sexual identity, being gay positive, you name it. You sure it doesn't mean HIV positive? <laughs> Gavin, derogatory jokes are not acceptable ever. Intolerance comes from ignorance, so it's good you're seeing Dr. Sally in health today. Hey, uh, she's a valuable resource to so make use of her, okay? Ask her those burning questions. Now, if you do decide to have sex, then it must be condoms, condoms, condoms. And that kind of respect is key in heterosexual and same-sex relationships. <laughs> Same sex means two guys. <laughs> Gentlemen, the floor is yours. Don't be shy. Oh, um... Most guys, chicks turn them on. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> OK. OK, so gay guys, how does seeing another guy do it for them? The same way as seeing an attractive female does it for straight guys. Um, my older brother's gay, and he's known forever, says he was born that way. Well, that's one thought. Some people think it's genetic. Wouldn't that mean that gay parents have gay children? Well. If a child is born with the so-called gay gene, then yes, it's possible. Some people say it's a sin. Which is the greater sin, being yourself or pretending to be somebody you're not? Now, sometimes referred to simply as the processor or central processor, the CPU is where most calculations take place. In essence, it's the brain of your computer, the part your computer uses to think. It processes data and any instructions you give to it, either directly or through a program. What is he doing? And the speed it works at helps determine how quickly I you can do your work on the machine. And kind of obsessed. This rate is referred to as the central processing speed, and it is measured in megahertz. Kendra, tell your boyfriend the class time is my time, not his. Sorry, Mr. Simpson. In terms of computer power, the CPU is the most important element. Thank you, Dr. Sally. You're welcome. Everybody, don't forget to pick up your sample packs on the way out. And to recap, for more information, 
You can go to Dr. Sally's website. The address is on the board. And every Wednesday night, there's a gay, lesbian, bi, transgendered youth meeting at the community center on church. Check it out. Dr. Sally. Hey. Hi. Go ahead. I've heard everything. It's about a boy. Mm. I like him. He likes me. At least, as a friend. But not... I don't know. Mm. I told him I liked him, but nothing's happened. Guys get nervous, too. Why don't you talk to him? Be brave. Talk to him some more. There you go. Hey, Marcy, don't forget your femme care. Shut up. What, distracted by Dr. Sally's advice on boy-on-boy -boy love? Spinner, shut up, OK? Um, it was a joke, dude. Look, just tune him out. He's just trying to get you started. I hate fags, OK? What they do makes me sick. Hey, Marco. So just quit it. I mean, like yesterday, OK? Your eyes are so beautiful. They have flecks of green. Gold. No. Topaz. Really? Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm still here. I'm trying to eat. Sorry. We must be pretty gross. Eh, not so much. Oh, I'm so lying. See you guys. Toby? Mm-hmm. Maybe JT has a point. JT? A point? It's a new one. Seriously, maybe we should, you know, pull it or something. What do you mean? When you blew kisses at me in Simpsons class, I got in trouble. Yeah, me too. Juan didn't think I needed that much bathroom time. I was thinking about your English troubles. You're sweet, Toby, but I'm fine. No, I, I want to help. So I've scheduled some tutoring sessions for the two of us and some uh, study breaks and to be together. Wednesday's my hockey practice. Don't we think your English marks are a little more important than that? No. No, they're not. So just please stop. Now, if your group is watching carefully, you should be able to note the filmmaker's tricks. Pay attention to the narrative and voiceover techniques. Consider the editing choices. But how is music influencing the filmmaker's point of view? Okay. All projects are due on Friday. Have a good one, guys. Guys, I'll be back in a few minutes to close up shop, okay? Uh, yeah, no problem, Mr. Simpson. Are you walking home with us or not? Uh, no, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll just see you guys tomorrow. Okay. But I like the sour keys. Sure, they're good, but there's a whole gummy world to explore. <laughs> Here. Marco? Sorry, what? It's not so easy for me to ask. Oh, well, I'm listening. I am. OK. Well, are we just friends? Ellie, I like you a lot. And I mean, you like me too, right? So let's go out, like on a real day. You're serious? Yeah, totally.
Our media immersion group is meeting at my house at 7, okay? Sure. I'll bring the tape. Weird having Jimmy over again. Well, he's in our group. Hey, Elle, wait up. Can I meet you inside? Elle, hold on. Please don't make this into some cheesy girl talk scene. I'm fine. Okay, let me guess. Bad date? No, I had fun. I always had fun with Marco. But that was all. Oh. No kiss? Not even good night? Maybe he doesn't like me that way. Or, um, maybe he doesn't like girls. From Spinner, I'd expect that. But from you? Disappointing. I'm just concerned. Because? What my family went through before my dad came out, not fun. And not relevant. Marco's straight. Someone's in love. Yeah, but uh, I think she's mad at me. And you're doing this for her. Big mistake. Trust me, Toby, it'll make her feel smothered. Smothered? No. You'll show her I care. Toby? What are you doing? For you. Thanks. Hey, Marcy, aren't you in the wrong change room? Shut up, you idiot. You're good for one joke a year, and you repeat it over and over and over. Nah, I don't care how many jokes this guy makes, because, um, I'm the one with the girlfriend. Serious? Who? Ellie. <laughs> um, Ellie's your friend who is a girl, but she's not your girlfriend. They're different things. Well, not after last night. Okay, Del Rossi. Details. Burgers, movie, long walk home. How far did you get? Third base? Second base? Did you make out? Yeah. The last one. Uh, we, like, kissed. For, like, forever. And you're a bad liar. Loser. I want each of you to write a two-page essay about your dream career. Don't worry about being practical. This exercise is about hopes, not fears. My fear is that Kendra hates me. My hope is that I die. Give me a break. I think she wants to dump me. What did I say about talking? Uh, sorry, sir. Can I be excused? No, you can start the exercise. Marco's girlfriend. Or is it his wife? I really can't keep up. <laughs> Just a minute. Guys. Hey, Ellie. Hey. I had a really great time last night. Yeah, me too. But I sort of forgot something. Oh, hey. 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 Marco! Yeah! They're waiting. See you later. Marco, things are looking up for you, buddy. That play was amazing. I mean, it was like the ball was waiting for me to kick it. It was so cool. Hey! Toby? 
Where are you going? What do you care? Oh, come on. No, you don't like me. I'm smothering you. I never said that. You didn't have to. Was that? There was a time Go back to sleep, Spin. Like this one. And the busy beavers that build them had almost disappeared from Canada. Shot 126 of a rodent. But the beavers Saved. will always be associated Pizza's with here. Canada's early days. Saved. Has been reintroduced into many areas and has made a successful comeback. Uh, guys, ladies first, huh? Oh, well then, after you, Marco. Aw, oh, did we offend Ellie? Gee, you think? Don't flatter yourselves, I'm going to the bathroom. The beaver builds dams because he has to store his winter's food in water deep enough not to freeze. Uh, I'm just gonna get some water. Oh, I'll get it. No, it's okay, I can get it. Wood cutting that the beaver has to do, it's fortunate that his incisor teeth never stop growing. I didn't know my kitchen was upstairs. <laughs> You wanted to talk? Sorry. No. Well, that was great. You're shaking. Should we go downstairs? No. I want to be here. Could have fooled me. Ellie, I like you and, and I want to kiss you. Then kiss me. Am I doing something wrong? Noel, you're perfect. But you don't think I'm attractive. You're beautiful. That's not what I mean. Do you think I'm... hot? It's a simple question. <sighs> Do you like girls at all? Ellie, I want to. And I want you to so much. But if you can't, it's not fair to leave me hanging. Please. Please, would you tell me? Ellie, I don't know. Ellie. I'm just... I'm trying. I am... I'm just so... Confused. I think maybe you're overreacting. What was I thinking? Me, Toby Isaacs with a girlfriend. As if a girl would ever like me. Hard to believe, I know. But Kendra does. Kendra doesn't. Kendra speaks for herself, thanks. Just. Go ahead. Go ahead. Break up with me. Oh, is that why I'm here? Toby, I like you. But just as friends. That's exactly it. Right there. What? You. Answering for me. Just being there. Constantly. You can't stand being around me. I love being around you. Just not all the time, OK? Marco Del Studley. Now, officially, Marco was just getting a glass of water. Of course. Of course. And how did that glass of water taste? Sweet? Like sugar, man. You guys can be officially jealous of me now. Jealous of what? Of you two and your extended bathroom break Friday night. You should be totally jealous. 
Sweet. Al. You're welcome. But I can't pretend forever. You can't either. I know. I was thinking that gay youth group Mr. Armstrong mentioned, if you ever want to go check it out, I could come with. Ellie. Sorry. No. Oh, thank you. Really. It's just that I'm not ready for that yet, okay? When you are, I'm there.